happy day to all this is nivedita founder of shri ahana physiotherapy academy our today's topic is going to be about kinematic chains of human body kinematic chains refer to the uh, series of rigid links that are interconnected by a series of pin centered joints it is basically an engineering concept all the joints in the body are interconnected through the myofascia so here when we talk about the kinematic chains of human body you can classify them into two types one is the open kinematic chain and the other one is the closed kinematic chain in the open kinematic chain functions what happens is the distal end of the limb that is to be moved will remain free to move in space for example when you talk about the elbow flexion say when i do the elbow flexion the distal end remains free to move so this is called open kinematic chain activity there are few more examples like reaching for an object or trying to comb your hair so everything is a open kinematic chain activity talking about the closed kinematic chain activities they occur in the weight bearing position so the distal end of the limb to be moved will be in a fixed position when this kind of movement occurs open kinematic chain is mostly about the isolated joint functions or the joint movements so it is given to improve the strength of individual muscles in closed kinematic chain if you try to move one joint movements at the other joints will occur simultaneously every joint movement will be interdependent in a closed kinematic chain movement now talking about the example for a closed kinematic chain movement when you try to stand erect and try a squatting position your knee has to definitely flex since the pelvis your hips knees and the ankle they all form the kinematic chain of the lower limb any movement at one of these joints say now when you squat it is the knee flexion that has to occur major so they will occur hip flexion and ankle dorsiflexion simultaneously so these movements can be predicted when you do a close kinematic chain exercise or a movement uh, push ups is kind of close kinematic chain exercise so the close kinematic chain exercises help in improving the stability more talking about the open kinematic chain exercises they concentrate more on the isolated muscles so the strengthening of isolated muscles occurs more when you give open kinematic chain exercises so when you talk about the kinematic chains in human body any dysfunction in any one of the joint or any joint motion that is being limited will put its effect on the other joints that are linked in the kinematic chain for example if knee range of motion is affected and you have to clear your foot off the floor like in walking what you will do the hip and ankle has to compensate for the limited knee flexion so that kind of compensatory action will take place at the associated joints talking about the uses of open kinematic chain and closed kinematic chain is uh, it is very useful in analyzing the joint movements and for therapeutic exercises and for the purpose of detecting any joint disease or dysfunction kinematic chain talks about the motion that happens in the interlinked segments kinematic chain talks about the forces that are being generated by the interlinked segments these terms the kinematic chain and the kinematic chain they are important because it plays a major role in both sports activities and in musculoskeletal dysfunctions so when we talk about badminton it is a kind of open chain activity so here what happens is we all think that the shoulder has to produce the maximum force to make a shot but then interestingly the shoulder accounts only to 13% of the force that is being generated to make a shot remaining 87% will be from the trunk and the lower limbs so to be a more efficient badminton player it is always necessary to maintain all these interlinked segments without dysfunction that is the lower limb your trunk and your shoulder there is one more example of open kinematic chain sports activity it is nothing but the football when you try to kick a football what you require is you have to make a little hip extension 
your knee flexion and give a free hit with the knee extension so that the force that is generated at the proximal part is being passed on to the distal part to make the shot this is what happens with badminton also the force that is generated proximally will travel distally to make the shot so it is always necessary to learn about the kinematic chains for a successful and effective practice i hope with these examples it would have been clear to you now if you find any other close kinematic chain activities kindly do comment in the comment box below thank you